All of me, it's Miguel Sam Possible. I'm Miguel, my name is Taffrey16, welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my fourth total second individual reaction to Basil Brush. So, the reason I say that is back in 2018 when I first started doing reaction videos, I did compilations, mostly, before I started doing individual episodes, and I did four uh, children's shows compilations. This was in two of them, and then I did an individual episode last September, I think? And today, we are doing the Christmas special, It's a Wonderful Brush. This is a channel voice request by DJ. Thank you, DJ, for using your points on this. I think this show's around 24 minutes, yeah? So let's go ahead and watch it. I wish you a Merry oh. Christmas. Oh, there we go. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I, I wish it. you a Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, Christmas can be wonderful. <laughs> but I had a terrible time last year. Uh -oh. I was very ill. <laughs> so is everybody else. I followed a Christmas decoration. Came down with tins of lighters. <laughs> Now where are the pretty? This show does, in a weird way, have a special place in my heart. Because again, it was in those original compilations. My first reaction to this was almost four years ago. John, play your heat. Oh, I wish our Christmas could be like it is on Cockney Sparrows. <laughs> TV's most popular soap opera about warm-hearted Eastern people, blah, blah, blah. Hang on. Now, call me old-fashioned, but how come we can still watch the telly when the lecky's been cut off? That. Oh, Dave! Come on, Dave! If you hadn't mentioned it, the telly might not have noticed it was running on empty. <laughs> oh, great! Now we haven't even got the telly to keep us warm! We're completely didn't have an oh. eating in days! How low can you go? Oh, I think we can go a bit lower. How about we set fire to the Christmas tree to keep warm? But yeah! When you say Christmas tree, I think you mean that Christmas twig that oh. came from the garden. No, oh, we can't burn that. We'd have nothing to put our presents around. <laughs> you tell them the good news, Basil. <laughs> I'm going to get the post. <clears throat> uh, I'm afraid there aren't going to be any presents this year. No! There must be presents. We could all club together. <laughs> 73 pence. Nice. A button. <laughs> and half a sack of sherbet lemon. Well, that's not going to buy us much. You can get some gum. <laughs> that sherbet lemon's been in my pocket so long, it's an antique. Probably worth a fortune. <laughs> to the right person. <laughs> hey, Christmas cards. That'll cheer us up. No. Exactly. They're all bills. Oh. <laughs> Be brush, Esquire. Invoice for new snakeskin dancing slippers. Uh. Be brush, Esquire. Bill for five nights in the Nirvana Hotel Barbados. <laughs> Be brush, Esquire. For respraying of pink Apache helicopter. Pink was last year's colour. Right. I wanted a nice shiny black one. <sighs> At least we know where the money's all gone. Yeah. Basil. Oh, I'm an extravagant fool. The money I spend on Jelly Babies alone would buy us all Christmas presents. <laughs> Things couldn't get any worse. You want to bet? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> what the heck are you? <laughs> oh, God. Now there's two of them. <laughs> oh, I knew I spoke too soon. <laughs> I forgot I said we'd have him for Christmas. That's 200 quid's worth of double glazing done for now. Is he like the scrappy oh, dude of the show? You mustn't blame yourself, Basil. Even though it is entirely his fault yeah, spending is. all the money. It is, And yeah. Bingo is his nephew. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> Bye! Bing, bing! Oh, don't remind me. Um, uh, listen, I've got an idea for some Christmas cheer. Why don't we all go down to... Daniels! Yeah, uh, 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 at least it's warm, and everybody knows us. Yes, good old Daniel. He'll stand as a Christmas cup until our ship comes in. Really? Which bit of the sign don't you understand, Basil? Do not ask for credit. A boot up the brush often offends. Now, who do you think that's directed at? You haven't even paid me for last year's Christmas dinner yet. Goose braised in shandy with wilted holly and curried faggots. This is a crime against Christmas. You should have paid us to swallow it. You're right there, bud. Merry Christmas to you too, Stephen. Uh, anyway, 
Now that I've fought my prices, I'm getting a better class of customer these days. Yeah. <laughs> Celebs off the telly. <laughs> and from Hurrah magazine. I thought this was Basil Ooh, Brush, uh... not Basil Faulty. Self made boxes. <laughs> What ho, brush? <laughs> I'll have a brush. large one if you're buying. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you, too. Hi. Nice flamingo, anyone? Oh, yeah, I thought it was a hub. <laughs> Grubs up, ladies. <laughs> now, you can have anything you want, anything at all. French shampoo, anything. On me, money, no object. Because <laughs> I won't be paying the bill. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. Happy Crimbo. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Basil, Mama's looking pretty flush. Perhaps he'll lend us a few quid. As long as my name's Brash, I will not touch that rascal for a penny. I may be poor, but I have my pride. <laughs> Hi, guys. Happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays? Oh, yeah, we don't say happy Christmas in the US in case it offends people. <laughs> Sounds pretty offensive to me this year. <laughs> I find you here. I was just going like carol singing, and I wondered if you'd like to come. Like carol singing? Christmas spirit? Season of goodwill? It's all beginning to add up to a couple of quid and a mince pie from where I'm sitting. Help me in. Me too. And me. I sing like a bird. <laughs> a crow. <laughs> bing, bing. Mind if I join you? My shift's just finished and I could do with something to supplement Anil's slave wages. <laughs> Christmas Oof, carols always topical. remind me of my favourite pizza. The Good King Wenceslas Special. <laughs> Deep Pan, Chris Pan Even. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> God rest ye cherry mental men, may nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day To save us all from Satan's power When we were gone astray <laughs> Glad tidings of comfort and joy Comfort and joy Dog Tidings of comfort and joy <laughs> <laughs> Three pound for peace. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Is that a lot? No. No. Not even a little. Well, at least we can put it in the meter for a little light and heat. Wow, it'll be totally great holidays. Like a Buddhist fasting regression therapy thing. No food, no presents. But at least we'll all be together. What is her voice supposed to be? Right. Listen, don't knock it. In America, a Buddhist course like that would cost you at least a thousand dollars. Where in America is she supposed to be from? We saved a grand. Each. That's seven grand altogether. And there's still plenty of doors to knock on. We're rich. Bing, bing. Hey! Oh, yes, DJ, Remember Christ our Savior. Jollity in spite of it all makes me feel even worse. Don't worry about me, chums. I'm going for a walk. Yeah. I may be some time. Is it time for Basil's serious character arc? Oh, it's all my fault those poor kids won't have a Christmas. Yeah. I feel responsible. You should. It is my name above the door after all. Oh, I <coughs> may as well just stay out here all night. And when they find me frozen into a foxy icicle, well... <laughs> Excuse me, young Oh, fellow. God. You Santa? seem to have dropped your scarf. Oh, uh, thank you. But I was thinking of doing without it. So I could freeze solid and make everyone feel jolly sorry for me. Oh, you don't want to do that, old boy. I mean, they'd miss you. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Poor Molly and Dave, even Bingo, Mr. Stephen. They're all better off without me, you know. So would you kindly leave me to freeze my brush off? No, I won't. You know, I used to think like you when I was younger. 
I soon realized my destiny was mapped out for me. Huh. Well, if mine was, then I made all the wrong choices. I mean, look at my cousin Mortimer. He lives high on the hog while I Yes, just... but he stole it. Oh. While you built up a fabulous career the honest way. But that's Did what comes... Do you know him? <laughs> I know all sorts of things. Who are you, anyway? Yes. Ooh, just a friend. Mm. Basil! Ah! Basil, I thought that was you. You're freezing to death out here. Yeah, no, that's no, no, point. I'm fair. I'm just kidding. I just needed a breath of fresh snow, that's all. <laughs> Look, I've got to get back to the calf. Why don't you come with me? Oh, don't worry about me, Miss India. I'll head for home in a moo. I'll buy you a hot chocolate. That's very kind, but no thanks. Whoa. Merry Christmas, Basil. Yeah. Oh. Be steady. <laughs> that woman's a furry. You see? Ah! People would miss you. Take that, lovely girl. Where would she be without you? A furry? Eh? <laughs> well, you discovered her, didn't you? <laughs> you going away this year, Basil? Philip and I managed a long weekend in Porto Banas. Oh, yes. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I was having an earwax and my brush fluffed by my chap, De Rille, at Maison Teasy Weasley, when suddenly I heard the most beautiful noise. Oh! No, not that noise. That was Darrell catching his thong in the heat of curling tongues. No, it was singing. Better now that I can see. Better now that you're not here with me. Kind of weird. It was the same for the shop in front of people. Ever heard, other than the ringing of a cash register. Well, I wasted no time. I'm in showbiz. I could make you a star. <laughs> With your looks and my talent, we could go. And instead, she became a waiter. Never been to market. <laughs> and now she works in Enel's Kef. Some Sven Gali that makes me. Yeah. You're being hard on yourself. She may be doing some part time work, but you've set her on the right track. She's singing, which is what she always wanted to do. With me! I'm holding her back! Well, what about Mr. Stephen? You're not holding him back, are you? He's holding himself back. They say you can't hold a good man down, but in his case, I'll make an exception. You've been the making of that lad. Do you remember where you met him? How could I forget? How could I forget? Next! <laughs> Stephen! I think. <laughs> Would you be so kind as to do whatever it is you do, old chap? has little perceivable skill, yeah. no discernible charisma yeah. that would draw the attention away from my good self, and has the added bonus of a white head, which would keep the draft out in the winter. He's perfect. <laughs> Looking at it like that was hardly an act of kindness. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What else would he be doing now? Stacking shelves. True. But these are isolated incidents. <sighs> I'm a failure. Yeah. Oh dear, we've got a difficult case here. This one will take some convincing. Is this Santa or just like what Basil wants to hear in his head? Let me show you something else. Hold on to your brush. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, hold on, Basil! Flying hey. sideways. By the way, where are we? Space. Uh, Australia! All over the world, children have grown up with you, Basil. Ma, we're fed up with 
watching this show with a rubbish bush kangaroo that can't even talk. Can we watch Basil Brush now? Obviously extremely sophisticated. Oh, let's get meta now. With the well -developed they know they're in a TV show. <laughs> Either that, or simple-minded fools enchant their talking fuck. No, no, no. Your wit and humour has transcended language barriers. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose I do me bit for international relations. Yes, that's not to mention the tireless work you do for charity. That marathon you ran? Oh, it did help. I was being chased by a pack of dogs. <laughs> you know, and what else? Yeah. He went towards an old people's home. He went towards it. He didn't actually get there. <laughs> <laughs> but, Basil, all this adds up to a lot of good work. Despite the rubbish jokes, you make the world a better place. Yeah, but it would be a better <laughs> place this Christmas without me. Everyone else would be really jolly. Makes you wish you'd never been born. You really are the most exasperating case I've had to deal with. Chill out, Never homie. been born. I'll show you what it's like if you've never been born. Hey, listen, my dad was so delighted when I was born, he rushed out to tell all his friends. He should be back any day now. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, can't. Can't. Boom, boom. Of course can't. you can't. You invented it, and you haven't been born. <laughs> Welcome to a world bereft of boom. <laughs> Ooh, you're beginning to frighten me. Uh, listen, uh, thanks for everything, but uh, I must dash. I've got a show to do, you know. <laughs> it's in the blood. <laughs> it was... <laughs> The show can't start without me. I was born on stage, you know. The audience enjoyed it so much, Literally. my mother kept it in the act. <laughs> <laughs> no need to hurry, old chap. The show's already on. Oh, God. <laughs> Starting without me? They can't do that. It's my name above the door. A deep show. <laughs> well, I like that. I'm out of the picture for two minutes. I'm going to have serious words with that boy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I believe they get to show to Dave. This is monstrous. Oh. You weren't around to rein in Dave's wild ambition. Don't you ain't seen sweet. nothing yet. Oh, no. Thank you, Muchly. Muchly, thank you. OK, welcome to my show. Now, please welcome my co-host, the most popular fox on the box... Small Lucky. Mortimer. Ah! If you eat Christmas decorations, I don't know what happens if you eat Christmas decorations. You get tinselitis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. That's one of my jokes. Yeah, not anymore. Plagiarism, Don't brother. forget, you haven't been born. <sighs> get off! Stop this crazy show! Oh, oh my, what have I done? I've begun to see my positive contribution to humanity. Dog. It's all gone horribly wrong. You must stop this madness. There's no point shouting, Basil. They can't hear you or see you. You don't exist. And without you, the Dave and Mortimer show is what the viewers have to put up with in the name of entertainment. <laughs> Uh. Old man, where are you? Old man? No! I'm sorry. I've just wallowed in self pity. I'll never complain again. Please come back. I have wonderful friends, family, a fabulous show, and an enviable career. Just give me my old life back. Oh, uh, and my friends, uh, for richer or poorer. Oh, and me old show would be nice, too, if you can stretch to it. Oh, come on, play fair. 
This groveling doesn't really suit me. I think someone might have learned their lesson at last. Oh, Carter? I think I've left it too late. Oof. You're right, mate. What the fuck are you? No, don't mind me. I don't actually exist. Hang on a minute. Didn't you used to be Basil Brush? I did. Boom, boom, innit? Go on. Yeah, that's right. Boom, boom. <laughs> Hang on one Christmas turkey picking minute. <laughs> I just say boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, I've got my boom back. I exist. <laughs> I've got my boom back. Uh, that's what she said. Steady on, mate. You may be on a telly, but I know what you theatrical types are like. Yeah, that's true. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! I exist! <laughs> Never meet your heroes, dude. <laughs> Stop this evil show! I'm back! <laughs> Stop this! Puzzle! Puzzle, where have you been? We were so worried about you! <laughs> ah! Good and faithful pup, how I've missed you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, yuck. You too, Bingo. You back just in time for the party. Yeah, let me get you a drink. But, 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 but party? Drinks? Presents? Uh, when I left, we didn't have two hapens wrapped together, and we're about to have the most miserable Christmas on record. Oh, yeah, we were skint, weren't we? <laughs> But we came back and sorted out our clothes to sell. Then Dave? Found a 50 grand note in the pocket of my old jacket. Oh, don't you just love it when that happens? Sure do. Oh, Basil, you're back. Basil, like, got him. so worried. <laughs> happy holidays. Oh, happy holidays, Miss Madison. You're the best American girl upstairs a fox could wish for. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ooh, Mortimer. Um... Brush, you old plum. Um, you couldn't see your way clear to giving a relative a bit of warmth and sustenance on a cold winter's night. Chucked out of your lodgings again, eh, Morty? Um, <laughs> well, shall we say a slight lack of fluidity in the cash flow department? I uh, blew it all on Annals Bulgarian champagne. Oh, some things Warfare. never change. Hey, Basil, huh? would you know how to defend yourself against a karate attack? No. Good. Then give us your wallet! <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> boom, boom, yes. Always good to see you, Mortimer. Is it? Blood sticker than water. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Basil! Oh, Lord. Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not the in a timeline right now. owner with extended credit any fox could wish for. <laughs> oh, and Miss India. Let me hear that songbird voice. Let's get this party started. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas the time. bells are ringing. The it's children Christmas are singing. What more this could anyone ask? Oh, one hell of a weird fever dream. How about a Christmas fly? Oh, God. <laughs> Christmas, everyone. You know, it's a wonderful brush. <laughs> ah. <laughs> boom, boom! Uh, uh -oh. Can you smell burning? Yep. Boomy brush! <laughs> Sounds like roast brush. So a couple days ago, uh, for the Mr. Bean video, I said that that was probably might take tops as the best Christmas special I watch this year. This might take tops as the weirdest goddamn thing I've seen this year. <laughs> that was a weird fever dream and a half, brother. The whole plot of that episode was just sucking off the main character. And then the stuff that happened at the end was just strange. But it is a strange show, so <laughs> fair. Uh, 
<laughs> out of the episodes I've watched this, that was definitely the weirdest. I gotta say. That was definitely the weirdest. Man. <laughs> yeah, that might be the weirdest special of our Christmas month so far. And we'll probably stand, to be honest. It is so far. It'll probably stand total. We'll see, though. Well, that is going to do it for my reaction to Basil Brush. It's a wonderful brush. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you again, DJ, for using your channel points on this. If you liked the video, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. Actually, it doesn't matter if you didn't like it, because it got rid of the dislike count. <laughs> so if you didn't like it, get... F <laughs> I'm trying not to curse because it's a fuck. you know, uh, 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 I'm trying not to curse because it's a kid's show. I don't know if I cursed during that episode or not, actually. If I did, I I guess I apologize. I, I somewhat try not to curse when I do kid shows, but they got rid of dislike count is what I was going for, so, you know, get nay nay if, if you didn't like it. Cause you can't, it doesn't matter if you dislike the video anyway. Uh, if you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel for instant views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon if you want to support me over Daily Motion. All those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all, uh, what is it now? 87 of my patrons I'm currently recording? Yes, 87 of my patrons. If you can support me on my channel, for those of you who don't know, you can be Patreon me. For as low as $1 or £1, pound, you access the direction videos, we'll read your comments up to early. And your name in the description. Also, in the description is linked to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as Twitch VOD's channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Tanford Steen. my second reaction, technically fourth, to the Basil Brush Show, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.